okay welcome um welcome back um you liberans and happy birthday to you liberans uh, um uh this is going to be a really really um positive year for you liberans um we have the energy of justice okay justice is here justice is here that is going to bring some sort of a, a balance um in your world so liberans i want to say happy birthday this reading is for the liberans that was born the fifth until the 11th happy birthday um to you liberans so this is um a wonderful year it is a year of the hemper the energy of the emperor is powerful um, the energy of the emperor has to do with uh, you focusing on what it is that you needs to get done in this year and creating um, and manifesting what it is that, that you need in order um, to make this year a stable year for you liberals and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous so whenever a fire energy comes out it is beautiful there is no question about this um fire energies have to do with a whole lot uh, to do with your inner power your um who you are as a person making changes creating wealth in your world standing up uh, and uh, um, creating positive alignment of energy in your world. And this is going to be good. So wonderful, wonderful alignments of energy that is going to be coming up for you. Um, Liberans that was born the 5th until the 11th. I want to say happy birthday um, to all of you. Um, please um, stay safe out there. It is going to be a rocky year for you guys. But uh Accept the energy and just move forward in a very, very powerful way. So I see you Librans that was having some sort of a family issue. It is going to be resolved. So be aware of this and be open up to the energies that is going to be coming up in this year for you guys. Okay. So wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies. So when we look at the Libran energy, and what is happening and what is showing up is that we see transition is going to be coming in that is going to bring some sort of a new start for you liberals um we see um the eons um um some some issues is going to be coming up but you will be resolving this i see success success is coming up um huge success and the energy of the star is here and that is going to be wonderful um, then we see the energy of the hamper. He came in um, and uh, with the energy of uh, the chariot. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely wonderful. It's going to be a positive alignment of energies. You're going to be understanding where you are, what you're doing, and how you're going to be creating some sort of a um, positive uh, um, changes for yourself so let's go in justice for the family situation i see a resolution is going to be coming up um with the family whatever that was happening and transpiring i see justice comes up and there is going to be a happy ending to a situation um that was playing out with the family so this is a very very wonderful energies um that is going to be coming up and transpiring then um we are going to be going in and looking at what is going to be transpiring for each and every one of you so um, let's look at uh, um, the energy of uh, transition for the people who were born on the 5th, the 5th of uh, um, October. So you were born on the 5th of October and we see some transition is coming in. And this transition is here in order to create some sort of a um, transition in the family, transition in your world. Um, knowing what is transpiring, accepting the changes that is going to be coming up for you, looking at what is vital for you to change in your world, and this is going to be good. So whenever the energy of death comes up, it is a form of a transition that is going to be coming in, and this transition is going to be coming in in a really, really positive, positive alignment of energy, and this is going to be helping you guys to move you um, in a positive direction so with transition I see you wait ladies are going to be effective um, 
um, some sort of a transition is coming up for you ladies um, this is the energy of ladies um, that uh, and it can be anyone um it can be that you're having a child it can be transition in the family you could be getting married whatever is happening and transpiring there is definitely um transition coming up for ladies and for men 50 years and older so that is um going to be wonderful and transpiring so that is a really positive energy and uh, whenever transition comes up in a year with a family um grandkids could be coming in you could be getting pregnant you could be getting married um a situation that is going to be affecting um it could be legal issue cost of the battle that sort of a thing and changes is going to be coming up then we're moving on to the people who were born on the 6th. And for the people who were born on the 6th, you are really getting a new start. Whatever is happening in transpiring, you're going to be receiving a new start. This new start is going to be wonderful. The Ten of Cups and Justice is always a very, very positive, two very positive energies that comes up. And it's going to be helping you to align yourself in the right direction moving forward and assist you to exhilarate in a very, very, very um, a wonderful way moving forward. So it is a year of, of a new start and exhilaration for you. And I see a friend is going to be helping some of you. So whatever that was happening and transpire, I see new friends, new people are going to be coming in. Family friends could be helping out some of you. A lot of people is going to be um, connecting with you in a very positive way. I see new friendship are going to be created in this year and it's going to be absolutely absolutely wonderful you have the energy of the hair sign that is going to be moving you forward friends and people are going to be coming in in order to push you further and help you out and create a lot of positive energies for you so you are dealing with fire and hair you are a hair person this is the energy of uh, um, justice is also there. So it's going to be a powerful year for each and every person that is born 5th um, of October till 5th of uh, till 11th of October because justice is there and justice is your energy vibration. As we move forward, we are going to be looking at the people who were born on the 7th and we have the energy of uh, the eon. The eon is the energy of... Uh, um, um, before dealing, um, 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 information that is going to be coming out, whatever the information that is going to be coming out is a risk, but take it, take it. Um, some sort of information is going to be coming out. Um, it's a riskful, um, situation, but take it because you're going to be successful. Okay. The eons is the 20 is judgment. It's two. It's duality. Just like the dice, you roll the dice. You never know what is going to be coming out, but whatever is going to be coming out is going to be very, very positive. So go for whatever this issue is, the situation is go for it because it's going to be exhilarating you and, um, whatever the information is that is coming out is going to be good because you're going to be taking a risk on it and it's going to be bringing you wonderful wonderful alignment of energy so it is a good year um some whenever um judgment comes out in a year with justice the family um, it is positive energies. There's no question about it. It's going to be a lot of positive energies that is going to be coming in towards you. So take this energy is duality. So a lot of things is going to happen. Justice is also duality situation, some sort of information um, with a family. Some of you take risk uh, to do something for the family and it's going to be working out in your um, pleasure. Then we look at the people who were born on the eight. And we have strength, okay? Um, strength has the energy of 11, okay? And, you know, a lot of people need to start working with numbers and numerology because that is going to be helping you out. So 11 with the energy of strength is powerful because it is also your energy vibration of balancing out 
um, issues and situations around you. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because what is going to be happening and transpiring is that there is going to be some sort of unusual circumstances that is going to be coming up that is going to be helping you to open up some sort of a door of opportunities for yourself. Now, strength is when you are taking back your power. So whoever was born um, on the 8th, the 8th of October, you're going to be taking back your powers and taking back your powers in a very powerful way. And this is going to be God. Here we have details, details, details. So there is going to be some sort of a situation that is transpire and people are going to be looking at the details, timeline and that sort of a thing. So it could be you Librans investigating something or looking back at something, trying to figure out a puzzle because this is about timelines and going back and trying to connect the dots with some sort of a timelines in order um, to find out what exactly is transpiring. And this is going to be good. It's details, 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 but you have the number six energy here, and it's going to be powerful because you have, um, you have um, um, 11 and 6 and some sort of a portal is going to be opening up for you guys. So whoever is born on the 8th, some sort of a portal in this year is going to be opening up. That is going to be bringing you back some sort of a information that you were not aware of of the past. That is going to be bringing you back in the future and this is going to be um, very, very good. So you have, um, yeah. Uh, you have um, 42, uh, 6, and you have uh, 11, okay? And this is uh, it's as if a portal is going to be opening up. So be ready for it. Then when we are looking at the sun energy, the people who were born on the 9th of October, the energy of the sun is here. So remember, whoever is born on the 9th of October, you have the energy of the sun. It is a positive, whoopsie daisy, positive, powerful alignment of energy. Whenever the energy of the sun comes in, it is um, when you are going to be really, really successful bringing um bringing back things in balance okay because you have uh, your own energy vibration that is coming up in this year you're definitely going to be bringing things back in balance you're going to be understanding the part that you're on you're going to be making changes in your world that is going to be suiting you in the right and proper way um it, there is nothing to do with the ego um some of you are going to be accessing and realizing that you have made some sort of a decision in the past that is affecting you now in the future. And what you're going to be doing is uh, going back and figuring out and seeing where you have made this uh, um, fault or what decision have you made in the past uh, and you need to heal in the future. So um, this is good because justice is here. It could be issues with a family. It could be um, issues at work, career, um, that sort of a thing. But whatever is here, you're going to be successful over it. And uh, there was some sort of a shadow plane. Um, if you see duality, there was some sort of a shadow plane and duality that was going on around the people who were born on the ninth. And you're going to be finding out uh, that there was some sort of a duality where um, someone was created. Someone has created some sort of a duality um, shadow side. So if you notice, this is 11. This is also justice where there is shadow side where people and it's going to be coming out and you're going to be successful over this um, because it's going to be coming out and people are going to be finding out that people were creating some sort of a form of duality where people were um, making double copy and cloning certain things and it's going to be coming out so you're going to be very successful overcoming whatever that was going on because people are going to be finding out that there was like double documentation of it's uh, something someone some sort of an issue some sort of a situation and people are going to be finding out the truth and you're going to be shedding light on exactly what has happened and exactly what has transpired so congratulations to the people who were born on the night you have the energy of the sun and you have have um, a duality where there's a shadow side to a situation where a lot of you are going to be investigating and bringing out the light to exactly what was transpiring. So um, it's going to be a good year. Then um, 
the energy of the star is here for the people who were born on the 10th it is good you're going to be successful over whatever legal issues um you were divorcing whatever legal issues that was happening and transpiring you're going to be very successfully overcoming these legal issues and the situation um you're going to be seeing the truth you're going to be really realizing how um, a situation was played where people tried to use their power to play the situation in a wrong way. Truths are going to be coming out and I see a resolution is going to be coming in. So um, whoever is born on the 10th is going to be a very successful year. You're going to be overcoming whatever that was transpiring. And I see that an Aquarian in your life could be blocked. Some sort of a um, person situation, some sort of a double event that was transpiring is going to be blocked, okay? So if you were dealing with some sort of an issue with an Aquarian or that sort of a thing, or some sort of a double um, play, double contract and that sort of a thing, I see that it is going to be blocked and it's going to be much better for you guys so that you can move forward. So there could be double information or double contracts or double play uh, there was a double play that has happened and has transpired and i see um that you are going to be overcoming this double play um that has transpired where people um created some sort of a double effect and i see that it is going to be blocked some of you be careful because you could be dealing with an aquarium and they're going to be finding out what this aquarium has done um, and they're going to be blocking this Aquarian or blocking this person who have created some sort of an issue. Make sure that it's not you. Number 21 comes out to three. The star is 17 and 17 is eight. So some sort of information is going to be coming out. Some sort of an issue, duality issue and that sort of a thing is definitely going to be coming out. And you are going to be overcoming whatever the situation is that was happening and transpired. So that is going to be um, good. As we look at the people who were born on the 11th, you are dealing with people in power. I see that some of you who have a business will receive a new contract. If some of you were thinking about starting a business, it's a yes. I see some of you are going to be receiving a new contract from people in power. I see wonderful alignment of energies this is uh, some of you are going to be having new business partner creating new contract and this is going to be good so whatever the situation and the issue there was uh, with uh, some sort of a problem some sort of an issue that was going on i see a new contract is going to be coming in uh, and they're going to be finding out that there was some sort of a double contract that was created and they're going to be finding out exactly that people have used their powers and were, uh, created a a new contract um, in name of some of you or your business, uh, some sort of a double contract that was happening and uh, transpired. And you're, they're going to be finding out exactly the play that was happening and the play that was transpiring. And uh, some sort of a new stability is going to be created where some sort of a shift of energy where people are going to be finding out exactly what was happening and transpiring. So it is a powerful, powerful year for the people who are born on the 11th. You're dealing with people in power. It could be your business. Um, it could be that some of you are finding out that there was some sort of a double contract that was created. People are finding out and seeing the truth of what has happened and transpiring. How someone has used their powers in order to um, um, collaborate and create some sort of a double contract, copy something and create some sort of a double contract and pretend to do something and they're going to be finding out and blocking this person. So you guys have number four. Um, a new contract 25, which is seven, you're going to be on the right part. Some of you are going to be offering a management position, take it. Some of you are going to be finding out a whole lot of duality that was playing and double contract that was playing. So be aware of this, open up to the energies. And I want to say to each and every one of you, please remember to like and share this video. Go back and listen to the weekly readings because this is your year readings. It is a year of victory and successful overcoming some sort of an issue that was created in your world and you're going to be transforming um, this energy and this situation in order to accumulate and acquire wealth and positive um, um, stability in your world. So 
thank you for being here please like and share this video thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up and i will speak to you next week enjoy your year um 2020 going in 21 namaste